Hey guys, it's going and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. I cannot live stream this game and then transfer those videos to YouTube because something's going on. It's probably on my side and everything else is fine with other people and just me being, you know, the outsider pretty much. Um, this is New Game Plus 3. I have rang both bells. I killed Sif. Like, when I started New Game Plus 3 and I got here, I was like, let's go kill Sif. And I killed him the first try I got. Uh, killed Moonlight Butterfly. Killed the... Um, what's his name? I forgot his name, but I have not killed Capra Demon. I did not kill um, the Gaping Dragon. So I went down to kill Kilog, and then I came up here and thought, you know, let's go kill... Uh, the Iron Golem, and then go to, uh, what's his face? Orange Seed Smell. Oh, hello there. Yes, whatever. Hello. You're lucky I'm not going to kill you yet. Yes, yes, whatever. Oh. Yes. Very well. Yes. Now, only. I already belong to this covenant. Do I not have these heals or something? I guess I already do, it's just, it's being dumb right now. Whatever. Uh, okay. Come again. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so I found out that if you switch talismans, um, each one heals more than the other. Like, the one he sold, that he sells is great, that's the, you know, kind of like, it doesn't heal that much, but if you upgrade to the orange one, and you use that one, it heals a lot more than before, so that's awesome. Found that out last night. When I found it in my inventory. I was like, "Oh, can I use this?" Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, so stupid. So yeah, we gotta go go through Zen's fortress on New Game Plus Three. Then, um, in Orlando. <clears throat> and then after that, I think we just go after the other main bosses. I also have not killed the Four Kings, Bed of Chaos, Seath. Uh, Nito, Pinwheel. So I got all those to go. Um, yesterday I spent like one to two hours and just blasting through the game as fast as I can go and I got to the second bell, including Sif and Moonlight Butterfly in that amount of time. So I'm getting pretty good at the game. I'm getting a little faster too. Um, last night I was having troubles with the four kings in New Game Plus 2 because I completely forgot how to fight them. And then I watched this guy livestream Dark Souls and I was asking the chat, or I was asking the streamer and the chat actually helped. They were saying, you know, go ahead and just tank it all if you can. And I was like, okay, let's go ahead and tank it. And it went well. I was just like, wow. I try and be, you know, skillful and try and do a uh, you know, try and roll through every attack. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> it was a little difficult, you know, trying to learn the right time to, to roll, but... Um, I figured, you know, my whole character is based around tanking, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I found out this is a little bit better than Pavel's armor. Not really that much better, but you know, to a point where it's a little bit better. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck you. Alright. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> I had no idea if that was going to hit me or not. Honestly, had no idea. And there's a trap I was looking for before. When I was playing this before. That trap kept act being activated. I was like, why is that still being activated? And found out it's because that guy kept backing up and activating the trap, but the arrows were going through him and not hitting him. So it was kind of weird. All right.
I love Sin's Fortress. It's so much fun. I mean, once you know where to go and all the traps, it's really simple. There you go. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I also like to point out why I'm two-handing the Uchi. The first time I got the Uchi, if you two-hand, it doesn't make a noticeable difference, but now it makes a pretty big difference. Because if I one-hand the Uchi, you know, I also get the shield, but um, I would have to take four hits to kill him. But if I two-handed it, I get three hits to kill him. Which is awkward, but oh shit. Sweet, I actually did it. I also always push that in case I have to run all the way back here then. I don't have to deal with that. Um, I always forget where the door is. There it is. Alright. This should be like my walk through, through Sen's Fortress because I'm doing so well. I memorized most of this area. Come on, let me get behind you. Of course, this is New Game Plus 3, and people are probably playing this on just a normal Dark Souls and learning how to beat the game, but it's still, you're taking the same route, it's just the enemies do more damage and are more powerful and whatnot. Just kind of showing you where to go. And there's that asshole who's gonna shoot at me. Ah, oh, this is not a walkthrough. Now it's not. <laughs> well, it probably still could be, but it's just like... Don't do what I do. I should have sprinted. Yeah, don't, wanna, don't do what I do. I take my time. You gotta rush through this area. Oh, sarcasm to extreme. Alright. Well, try again, I guess. It's like a little sp spot, like right here, where you can aggro one of them and you can have them come at you and be like, oh, bitch, take your own trap. There you go. And yes, they can hit you through the pillars, in case you're wondering. Why? Because their reach can go through the pillar. I forgot about this. I'll take that. It's kind of weird, I know, but still. What does that say? Be wary of down. Yeah, I know. Ooh. I'm trying to be a little daredevil right now. Like when I beat New Game Plus 2. And I killed Gwyn on the first try, which was awesome. I was like, you know what, let's be a daredevil and see how far I can get in one to two hours. And I got pretty far. I only died like two or three times because I died stupidly. I think I was like trying to test something and I just randomly died because I was being stupid. <laughs> See? Oh, oh! Where am I going? Oh, right here. Oh, shit. Is it gonna throw a boulder down? No, okay, because I fixed it. I'm guessing. Just watch one come right now. No. <laughs> I was waiting for one to just come right down there. Funny. <clears throat> and yes, you can backstab these enemies in case. You don't know. There we go. <coughs> I don't think I have enough time. Nope, I didn't. It launched me backwards. <laughs> Alright. 
That's cool. <coughs> oh boy. Here we go. What does that say? Sorrow. Yeah, a little bit. Pwned. <laughs> oh, I love to parry these guys sometimes. When I was first playing through this game, and I first got through Zen's Fortress, I was dying so much, I was thinking, you know what, let's try and see if I can parry those these big guys, and I found out you could. So I just kept parrying them and for about an hour to two hours, and kept killing them that way. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Um, trap right there before you go up the stairs. Let's see. Incoming loud sound effects. Prepare your ears, headphone users. It's coming right now. <laughs> Isn't that so bad? I can't level up yet. Keep going until you kill him, which I'm gonna go kill him because he's pretty annoying. I always fear though if I just run off I'll fall off, but whatever. Um that's not him over there. It's a different guy that throws bombs at you. Run run run. I think it's like these stairs you shoot him freely. There he is. Just let him throw his bomb. Then I think he'll stop. Or I think we have to shoot him. Yeah. There we go. You can actually headshot him for some reason and it works. <laughs> Anyways, that's the guy that throws bombs. The other giant is the one that rolls down the boulders through Zen's fortress and you know, as you saw earlier when I got hit by that boulder, that's from the other giant. If you upgrade your bow to plus 14 or plus 15, you'll do a lot more damage than, you know, if you start off and you're not upgrading your bow, it'll make a huge difference on how fast it kills you. Um, this guy will make the boss fight with the Iron Golem, I think that's his name, a lot more challenging because he'll throw bombs at you while fighting the Iron Golem. So that's fun. Um, that guy down there, you can kill him with arrows, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> also, if you're playing through the game and you're having trouble with this boss, there is a person you can summon. Not a real player, it's an AI. His name is Iron Tarkus. Nine out of ten times, I think that's the number that I'm looking for. He will kill the boss for you, so you can lay back and just watch him take on the boss, and he will just wreck the boss, which is always awesome. No, he didn't drop it. He usually drops Titanite shards and whatnot. Um, if you're human form and you want to summon Iron Tarkus, go to the other tower and just summon him, come over here, and fight the boss's Iron Tarkus. I'm not going to summon him, because I want to fight Iron Golem by himself. And he'll do that every time you do that. Or, wow, I'm so dumb. He'll do that every time you start the boss fight. Also, if you manage to do enough damage to his ankle, He'll do that. No, he won't. I'm dead. <laughs> I thought he was killing over so I can keep hit his ankle. But I didn't realize he's gonna reach for me. Now I'm finally dead. See so yeah, how he can grab you. <laughs> if you want to play it cautiously, then you know hit him like two or three times, run away, and come back for more. fun boss. 
Um, I actually have no idea where that goes. I don't want to go see what's over there. Now's the time we get to find out if he respawns. The guy throws bombs. No, he doesn't. Okay. Let me just loot some of this. <clears throat> Iron Golem is really not that hard of a boss. Um, and Orlando's boss is a lot more difficult because, uh, well, you'll see later. <laughs> You know what I should do, just to do it for fun, is to put the gold pine resin on so I can add electricity damage to the weapon. <clears throat> I should. There you go. Alright, where is my gold pine resin? I honestly don't need it, but... That's an odd glitch. Uh, there it is. Can I use it? Yay! Let's go kill the golem. He also has an awesome song. That's his reach, or his grab, whatever it is. Not right now, Jack. I'm a little busy right now, Jack. Come on. Fall over. Prove my point that you can fall over if you do enough damage to his ankle. No, he's not gonna fall over. Oh shit. Don't throw me the wrong way. Shut up, Jack. A little busy. In case you don't care, I'm fighting a boss. I will come check on you a little soon. And he's dead. And I'm gonna go check on Jack in just a moment. Cause he's being weird. Where's my body, by the way? Um, where is my body? Good question, Lapin. Where is your body? I don't know. <laughs> he threw me off that ledge, but I don't see my body. Um, that sucks. I had a good amount of souls for probably close to two level ups. Uh, is it out here? Huh. Well, that's awesome. Really, Jack? To Anne Orlando we go. Buddy! What's up? Look at that butt. No. 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 <clears throat> All right. 
best place in the world. In Orlando. <clears throat> I love this place. It looks so beautiful. It's a really fun place, too. And you get something called the Lord Vessel from here, which you can basically teleport between each bonfire. That, not like every single bonfire, but bonfires from, um, the Firekeeper bonfires. That girl's a Firekeeper, so you can teleport here. I am <coughs> 2,000 souls away from a love love. Let me go fix that. Oh my god, Jack, really? He doesn't know that I'm a little busy right now. Ah, that'll do it. I'm going with strength right now so I can, you know, get that up there. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I'll do another walkthrough through, through uh, Anor Londo and fight the boss of Orange and Samoa and show you how to beat them.